Good morning, everyone. We're at the BioBus Center. My name is Benet Misalucha, Executive Director of Hawaii Crop Improvement Association. Agriculture has so many dimensions, and we're here to offer one unique perspective, that of Hawaii's biotech papayas. We're here with Joni Kamiya, a farmer's daughter and a blogger. Let's hear your story, Joni. So I'm a farmer's daughter, born and raised in Hawaii. My grandfather started farming back in the 50s, and my dad continued the farming after that. Very successful, he's a well-known farmer. However, back in the 1990s, he was starting to get devastated by the papaya ring spot virus, and he was on the verge of losing the farm. So as a result of some research going on at UH, his papayas were saved by Dr. Dennis Gonzalez's research. And Camilla Farms would have been no farm had it not been for the biotech research done at the university. So to this day, my dad's able to continue to farm for over 40 years now with the new technology of biotechnology in his papayas. Um, with all the conversations going around in Hawaii and the controversy going on in Hawaii, I just noticed that the farmers don't have a voice. And I decided that these old time farmers don't speak up. They're too busy farming. And I decided that somebody needs to. Having seen everything come at us at the media, the social media, mm -hmm. we had no voice. Yes. So I took it upon myself to start speaking out, which is very unlike Hawaii style to do. And I decided to start on the social media and put the facts and start speaking out for the farm. And little did I realize that it's been recognized that there's others like me mm -hmm. that think the same, that technology really can help agriculture. And so through that, it's time for us to unite the different industries, the different farmers, to make people realize how important technology is as the world changes. And Hawaii being the wonderful story of the small farmer and this huge technology has made a huge difference in all these hundreds of farmers' lives in our state. And we need a voice. And, and you've been a very effective voice. So tell me, Joni, where do you draw that from, that, that strength? Because as we can tell, you're not exactly you know, six feet tall, but <laughs> boy, your voice comes on very strong. I was lucky that um, with the early research, I got a chance to work on the cross-protection papaya, so I really understood the technology. <laughs> And with that knowledge, I was able to speak about it because I knew what we were doing and where it came from. And it was nothing fearful for me. And I've always been exposed to genetics, the latest technology, having gone to school at a, you know, a very highly uh, research school, Washington University. It made me realize that, wow, this technology is amazing. And to me, it would be terrific if, since Hawaii is the center of it with a wonderful story, why not speak up for it? We, we've seen it, we know the stories, and it helps so many people, but they're not ready to talk yet. Would you like to address the next generation of, of farmers out there who are um, still maybe unsure about biotechnology and agriculture? I really think that they should talk to people, talk to what's going on in the agriculture industry, learn about it. We shouldn't fear technology because as we've seen, it saved my dad's farm and now my brother can take it on and continue it. And to me, that's the true meaning of sustainability, that we can continue farming the land, the same land that we've been farming for 40 years. And how sustainable is that? That is terrific. Well, that's all the time we have. Thank you very much for joining us here at the BioBus Center. Then remember the next time you bite into that rainbow papaya, think aloha, think Hawaii.